Hello, my name is Philip Berber from Enable Impact. Enable Impact is an online database, an online platform, a, a social impact network that allows impact investors and social entrepreneurs to search and match and connect with each other, somewhat like an online dating platform. What lessons have we been able to learn from online dating and transferring that knowledge into the world of investment platforms? The first thing is that technology is not new to finding a match. In the world of looking for a date, once the internet came online, then we had an array of online dating platforms like Match.com, like eHarmony and others, where people could go online and find the perfect date or match. So too in the financial world. For years we've had technologies in the trading rooms that are able to look at stocks, bonds and other financial instruments and be able to screen and find which of those investments align with our investment criteria. The second lesson is it's very different to get a date to getting married. A date through, say, Match.com allows you to go online and search and find someone that looks to be the sort of person you'd like to meet, and you go along and have a date with them and see, see how that unfolds. Getting married is much more like an investment. It's a long-term relationship. It takes time to get there. It takes getting to know each other. And so that's one of the important lessons and distinctions. Whilst Match.com will get you a date, eHarmony, it'll get you married. Who would have thought that 600,000 couples have been married as a result of meeting through eHarmony? And when you understand the technology that they use a little bit more deeply, you'll find that there's a very smart algorithm that they use to search amongst their profiles in order to find an even more perfect date, which leads to a relationship which can lead to a marriage. And again, in the investment world, that translates into an investment. The third lesson is that um, these platforms work in such a similar way. And what we're going to look at over the next few moments is just how these systems, how these screens actually look very, very similar. The one thing I would like to add is what's different in the investment world is when boy meets girl, it's a fairly equal relationship. In the investment world, one of the parties has the bag of gold. And that is what gives that investor the power. And whilst the investor is willing to release that money into the entrepreneur, so that entrepreneur can then go on and do well and do good in the world. So if we look at Match.com, what are the four steps and stages that any of the users all go through? The first thing is you build your profile. So you build a profile by answering specific questions, and then the software turns around and creates your photo and a short description of who you are. The second stage is you do a search. You know, there may be thousands of people on the platform, but which are the three or the five that are relevant for you? So you do it using the criteria home in on the search. The third is you get a match, which is the result of your search. And fourth and finally, press the button for an instant message or a phone call or a Skype connect. That's at match.com. So too with Enable Impact. The steps and the stages are exactly the same. You start by building your profile, which then translates into a summary, a one-page executive summary of the social venture or the impact investor, providing financial information and other information that we need to see. The second stage is to be able to search and match to find that investor or social entrepreneur or venture that aligns with your criteria. And finally, on Able Impact, press message and sends a message from the entrepreneur or the investor to the other in order that they can connect. The platform now has over 3,000 people from the global impact sector on the platform, which is actually more than we have people here at SOCAP. There's over 2,000 social ventures on the platform. There's over 800 incubators, accelerators, mentorship programs, fellowship programs, and all the support that entrepreneurs need in order for them to be able to be investable. And then finally, there are hundreds of the most active leading impact investors already on the platform. So what if I'm looking for a date? What if I'm looking for a lady 25 to 35 years old? What comes up is 2,000 images, these little boxes with a photo and a short description. Well, on Enable Impact, 
it's the very same, except this time it's social ventures. In fact, it has 2,000 or more social ventures that are on the platform. And here you just click on the box and it opens up into their complete profile, everything you want to know. In what way are they creating impact? What revenues have they had to date? Are there any investors or yet in the deal? And more, just by clicking on those little boxes. But looking at 2,000 potential dates or 2,000 uh, uh, investments is just overwhelming. It's just too much. So would we not want to be able to refine the search? If I'm looking for a date, I might think in terms of appearance or values or ethics or other personal aspects of the person I'm looking to date. On the investment side, what we might like to look at is, first of all, where is this venture operating? Which sector is it in? How much money are they looking to raise? Are they a for-profit, a non-profit? Are they looking for equity? Are they looking for convertible debt? And all of those things that we're familiar with on the investment side. Using those criteria, we're able to create a short list. Probably the most popular and successful platform that we know in the investing world for technology startups, for angel investors, is AngelList and they show us that this works. Over 600 startups have already raised over $180 million through the AngelList platform. And there's almost a billion dollars of follow-on capital that AngelList has brought online. All of this does not happen online. What actually happens is they meet online and then the work begins. The building of relationship, the doing of the due diligence, the legal process, the closing documents, the term sheets, and then they go back online to close the deal. The sixth lesson, and one of the light bulbs that's come on for us, is over the last year, we've seen that impact investors generally do not want to spend their time looking at the screen, searching for ventures. It's not their nature. Their nature is, I have the bag of gold. I want the deal flow to come to me. I want to know only which are the very best investments that meet my investment criteria, and when I'm ready, I'll then press the button and choose to invest. But they really don't want to spend their time. They're also, investors are concerned about being overwhelmed with inquiries. They don't want thousands of social entrepreneurs sending them emails asking for money. And at Enable Impact, we're able to protect and screen them from that. The seventh lesson, and it's the truth, is that whilst thousands of women may go on to these dating sites, few of them are actually going to get many dates. So too, with the ventures on these platforms, whether it's at AngelList or, or Enable Impact. The issue is that you need to be able to find a way to cream to the top. You need to find a way of getting up above the noise. And those that do get up above the noise, they're the ones that do attract a lot of attention, um, whether you're a live deal or a vetted venture. The eighth lesson is a really important one for us. eHarmony. 600,000 marriages. How did they do that? By leaving it to the users to find each other? No. They developed a new premium service, which they call matchmaking. And they get involved in the process of helping the people that are looking to meet each other. And they provide this value-added service on top of the online dating platform. We've learned from that. Last year, when we came to SoCap and we showed the Enable Impact Match.com platform for the first time, what we said was this platform is designed for impact investors to be able to meet social ventures. This year, we've taken the stage further. Enable Impact 2.0, which is a new investment boutique, an investment services company that is providing that matchmaking service, that is looking to not just create the initial conversation between the investor and the entrepreneur, but we want to help them go through all of the stages, all the way through to creating a marriage. In this case, that an investment or a deal would, would take place. And so that's why we provide and announce this year these investment services, both for the investors and the entrepreneurs, in order that we can create a long-term relationship and investment that works. So we've learned a lot, and we're happy to share with you the lessons that we have learned and think that what we now are able to provide is the best of an online dating platform with an investment services company on top of that in order to create lasting, long-term investment relationships. Thank you very much.